Watford till I die. I'm Watford till I die. I know I am, I'm sure I am. I'm Watford till I die. We'll be back. I don't know when. I don't know where. But soon we'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. Watford FC relegated to the championship after just one season in the Premier League. But we don't care what division we're in. This club is still in my heart. Now, the squad, no. You can rip that out and you can throw it in the trash bin because this season, the squad, the managers, the culture of the football club has actually left me seething it's just been so simple but yet we've made it look so hard i'm not saying safety in the premier league is easy but there are ways of getting relegated and there are ways of getting relegated and that my friends is simply not good enough. For every single fan that is supporting the Hornets, today, we could have called that four, five, even six weeks ago. Hell, we could have even called it after Norwich nil, um, Watford nil, Norwich three on January. But, why, how... I don't even know, every question under the sun, does this group of players throw in on such an important day, such a forgettable and lifeless and sparse performance as that? Just not good enough. Let me play you my thoughts and my reaction to the moment that the full-time whistle blew at Selhurst Park and Watford were relegated to the EFL Championship for the 2022 to 22 to 23 season. And what about this? Wow. We're finished. And what about this? There's a body blow to Chelsea Leeds. Seems an erupted Jeff. Honestly, Connor Cody. I mean, it's got to be one of the last kicks of the game. Two court has been on the side, and he's looked so nervous. They weren't the area. Well, got into the forward area, and the sub who's come up, Jaquino. Whips the ball in and he's on the money. Connor Cody comes in, yards out, you can't miss. Contact and it's 2 2. Wow, the great comeback, isn't it, as far as Wolves are concerned? 2 2 the scoreline there. Uh, Rushed up a second goal at Newport. Young they show a bit of fight. What do Watford do? Go down with a booming whimper. Disgraceful. Put us out of our misery. No, half a chance is not good enough. I'm not saying to necessarily always win, but to actually play football instead of just floating for a game.
Scott Thornton, it stays that way. Joey Barton's Bristol Rovers are promoted, but there's been an interminable delay. Um, it looks like everybody is back in their places at the moment. Why is that delay still going on, Rob? That's a good question, Jeff, because you mentioned a few moments ago, Joey Barton came out onto the pitch, he spoke into the microphone, and he just can't... <laughs> Joey Barton. Probably do a better job than Hodgson, to be honest. Even though it's Joey Barton who will probably get relegated, Hodgson would do worse this season. Honestly. Even Burnley lost today, but that doesn't matter. We're just so bad. We've known it all season, but just play the kids. Sky Sports, what are you doing? Just cut out. Put on an ad break. Just about when my team is about to get relegated, you don't even show the football. Brilliant. Cheers for that, Sky Sports. Gillette Soccer Saturday cuts away. You cut to an ad break. You cut to an ad break when we're about to get relegated. As a fox of the world, I say you should try. I actually don't believe what I'm seeing. I do not believe. I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again. Okay, so I see the Instagram Watford relegated, right? But for Sky Sports, you put on an ad break when we get relegated. Is that kind of like a joke? Is it a joke to you? We're relegated from the Premier League to the Championship. I've just seen it pop up. Watford are down. My team is down. Hang on. Is it because the, the game is delayed? Oh, fair play, fair play, fair play. All right, all right. I apologise, I apologise. Didn't realise it was because of the five o'clock... So I need to change channels. I was on Sky Sports Premier League and it's changed for the 5.30 kickoff. To be fair, to be fair, fair, fair enough. enough. Fair enough, it's fair enough. Sponsored by I was like, how can you cut there? That's actually ridiculous, but fair enough. I wasn't on Sky Sports News. Pending. Chelsea owner there alongside Bruce Buck they can't be happy with what's happened uh, today. 2-2 two, two the final score. Arsenal breathing down there next. If Tottenham would have win at Anfield this evening, Goodness knows those Chelsea fans would be a uh, little closer. The Wolves fans celebrate after a brilliant, brilliant comeback. Wolves have got nothing to play for. Doesn't look happy at all. That's and they go for it. You've got to get used to it. Two wins in seven. But I tell you what, put a two goal thing. So I look kind of insane. Rochdale have got a second goal. Uh, Adam Odoa has got that goal. Working one, easily two is the way it's finished. The players are just coming back out onto the pitch. Um, in the game down at the Memorial. I'm not sure the Scunthorpe players want to come back out in absolute truth. They've already been relegated. They've got a very young side indeed. They are seven goals down. And Joey Barton's team, they don't need to score anymore. They just need to make sure that they do not concede. That can be kicking off again in just a second. If anything happens, we will let you know. In the meantime, here's classified check with Alan Lambourne. The Premier League. Brentford 3 at the Southampton Chelsea 2, and Wanderers 2. Bristol Palace 1, Watford 0. No. Relegated. And that was it. And that was it. And that, my friends, <laughs> forget this season. 2020-21 to 2022. Nah, mate. Never happened. Never happened. No, 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 no. No, never happened. Let's Let's talk through. Why are we relegated? Well, poor recruitment. Poor managerial appointments. Poor transfer making. So, Gino Pozzo, Scott Duxbury, Cristiano Gioretta. I tell you, the list is endless. But, apparently, we are supposed to be <laughs> going for John Eustace. Now, John Eustace is a very un like manager. But will they change? We said that in the 1920 season, didn't we? We said, no, nope, it's all right now. Well, it's not all right. We got relegated in 1920. But we've learned our mistakes. We've made mistakes. At least we won't now do that in 21 to 22. Oh, <laughs> exactly the same. It's not good enough. It is simply letting the fans down. And also, it is a toxic atmosphere for the players. Because... They don't know who they're playing for because they've got just as much chance of them ripping up their contracts 
as the next manager walking through the door. And that means that there's no loyalty, there's no longevity. But there's as much as you can like, say Chelsea, right? Everton this season, Tottenham this season, Chelsea as well, and there's other teams. Uh, you know, look at Burnley, when they've sacked Sean Dyche, people reacted negatively to that. That's a very Watford thing to do. Fair enough, but they might still get relegated. So, you know, ultimately, we are not the only team that does this, but we are the only team that manages to do it frequently this much, but also so poorly. It's like every single manager appointment is a thing to correct the last one rather than what am I actually looking forward to to do for this football club. There's no long-term strategy in there. You cannot say, Juno Pozzo, that when you brought in Roy Hodgson, when we were pretty much calling for relegation... We were, we were honestly in, on the road to relegation. You cannot say that a 74-year-old was your long-term vision for the club, can you? So, as much as you can say you thought Hodgson would get us for safety, there is no way that you can say, well, I tell you what, that's, uh, that's going to be our manager next season. No. So, it's reactionary. It's, oh, I've really messed up here. I guess I've got to just do something else. Find whoever else is stupid enough to take the job. Whoever wants to get that job with that little security. It is brainless. But let's forget about that because own Gino Pozzo has done what he's done. We cannot control that. We cannot control what the players do either. We cannot influence the players other than turning up to football matches and roaring. But the players don't seem to let the noise influence their football because... They simply are not good enough, even for me, the championship. Because right now, the level of fight in that team is so, so diabolical. I think in three games a season, in a 38-game season, we have shown fight. One of them was home to Manchester United. The other was away to Southampton. And the third one, away to Aston Villa. Oh, would you believe it? All season, we've won against Villa, Norwich, Villa again, Manchester United, Southampton. So that's five or six wins. So we've had three games of those. So basically half, we've actually played all right. So all those draws, all those defeats, it's not even been a thing to say, oh, well, you know, at least we go again. No, we have to get in the bin because they are not good enough performances. And today's match at Selhurst fits into that category. It's just disgraceful. Absolute disgraceful. So we kick off. Let's first of all touch on the team lineup. I mean, I was thinking today, what lineup do we put out? Do we put out the kids? Do we put out Shakai forward? Do we put out Quadro Bar? Honestly, because we knew our fate. And the, the worst bit about it is, OK, fair enough. We have been so poor. We deserve to go down and we've put ourselves in this mess. But <laughs> you know it's bad when even pre-match, Hodgson is saying, so yeah, um, this club need to do what they can to bounce back. Obviously, yeah, any manager would say that. The odds are stacked against you. But there's not even like a Hodgson of, oh, well, we're going to give all we can for this game. And if we then stay up for one more game longer, then at least that'll be encouraging. There's none of that. Hodgson is literally like, OK, so once we've lost this game at Palace, um, we need to, you know, obviously go to the Everton game, lose that one and then go to the next. No, no, what I mean is he's literally saying, so, yeah, it's a shame we were relegated before the matches even happened. Granted, it was bound to be that we'd lose and bound to be that we would go down. But that's got to filter through to the players because they're just like, well, what's the point? Number one, I'm not going to be there next season because I'm now committed to a club that's now beginning to become a yo-yo club, you know, in your division of play teams like Bournemouth and Norwich and Fulham. Shall I tell you why they're yo-yo clubs? Because the Premier League has moved on. The last three years, the Premier League is a different league. And shall I tell you why? Money, greed, super leagues. That's why. Because your likes of Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea, Manchester City... It's money. 
It's literally money. And that is going to separate the league into a basically six-team league. And then just below that, you've got the likes of Newcastle. Saudi takeover. So a team that was looking destined for relegation in early part of the season. Unfortunate not being able to get in a takeover from Mike Ashley. That is now pushing for Europe. I mean, they're going to probably finish around mid-table this season. But considering where they were, that might as well be top, you know, top seven. So they'll be pushing next season. So that, my friends, is where teams like Watford, like Norwich, like Fulham, like Bournemouth, like, um, there was another one, West Brom. Teams like that, they got no chance of competing. Absolute zilch. Because the gap in investment, in comp- competition, competitiveness, is like a chasm. Now, I'm not saying that's the reason we're getting relegated. Of course, we have begot this out onto ourselves. We are a diabolical mess. In every sense of the word. The only thing I can say is that what Watford do in the community, off the pitch, is still going strong. But every other aspect of it this season has been an absolute disaster class. So, as I say, I want to go and talk about that Palace game very briefly because it was like pulling teeth. It was like scraping chalk across a chalkboard. It was literally, I just don't want to even watch this. I want the world to just swallow me up. So, the lineup today, enforced injury. You think, okay, not great because we would have liked to see Joao Pedro start. I mean, let let me let me even let me even like contextualize this, right? <laughs> the game ends. Watford are relegated. Roy Hodgson re- managing Watford is relegated with Watford, and at his former club Palace, instead of going to the players and consoling them and and you know and probably trying to think about what he can say to the players and think about how he can compose himself and what he can kind of take from this season. Instead of that, he's a lap of honour. It's like he's a secret agent for Palace trying to get us relegated. He's walking around Sellers Park. Now, he doesn't do that at Vicarage Road, I can tell you. Sure, uh, you know, granted, we have lost pretty much every game this season at home, but he doesn't do that. He just gets through those tunnels and he's gone. But when he returns to his former side, when he's relegated that team against his former side, he goes around clapping the Palace fans. Is that a joke? Is that an actual joke? He didn't go and thank the travelling Hornets, who've suffered all season. Honestly. Spineless. Spineless performance. Oh. Wilfred Zaha, we always knew, was going to be the man with the moment today. I could literally see it from a mile off. I tweeted. When when did I tweet? Let me find the tweet. Like, honestly, it was absolute yonks ago. Like, it was... It might have been after... I think it was... Was it after Brentford? I think it was after Brentford. It's just a sight you don't want to see. It really is. Um, where was it, the tweet? It will be here somewhere very, very soon. Bear with people. Um, yep, here it is. Um, <laughs> I could just call it easily. So I said about the Pozzo era, right? Began in the 29th of June, 2012. And what if, inverted commas, it ended 29th of June, 2022? That's exactly... A decade. You look at the games under the Pozzos. First one, Crystal Palace away, 2012. Last one in the Premier League, Palace away, 2022. And could be Chelsea away, 2022, under the Pozzos. The Premier League era, 2015 to 2022. Everton away, 2015. To Palace away 2022. Followed by this season, after that away Palace, 
Everton, again, home, 2022. Historic recurrence. You didn't even need to imagine it happening because it was just bound to happen. The earliest we could have got relegated in terms of our point tally. Yeah, easy. It's quite poetic, really. Depressing, but you just knew it was going to happen because this Watford side is simply not good enough. And actually, Sam Uko tweeted out saying, Roy Hodgson at full time when uh, we lose 4-0 to Palace and they relegate us. Like Mourinho dancing around the pitch. And uh, shout out to at hello Fox Fox brackets Foxy uh, brackets he slash him. He'll likely get a standing ovation from Palace fans if you can bear it. Palace away was also the start of the Pozzo era in 2012. What a decade. So fair play on the 1st of April, uh, 1st of May, I should say. Hello, Fox Fox. Spot on. That's exactly what happened. And as well, the Palace game. What a game that was. A cracker from Matty Vidra in the last few minutes after coming on as a substitute. The play that day from a newly formed team was a million miles away from what we have witnessed this season. Spot on from at Watford FC supporter on tour in Sussex. So it's very simple for me. And the simple thing is this club honestly needs to be very, very disappointed in themselves because they have not learned the lessons of 21, uh, 2019 to 20. And just to top it off, the women get relegated as well. I mean, following suit, I just, oh, I honestly, like I said, I, I still love this club and I always will, whether in the fifth National League South or the, you know, Kislington League, I don't care, or in the Premier League or in Europa League, whatever. I know that won't happen. But what I'm saying is whatever division, whatever competition we're in, I will follow the Hornets until I'm in the grave. But there is a way of getting relegated. It's getting relegated straight after getting promoted. It's getting relegated through three managers. It's getting relegated with three games to go. It's getting relegated with Claudio Ranieri, who really, since that Leicester title win, has just been living off scraps. Roy Hodgson coming out of retirement and then coming back into retirement after sending us down. Hit Cisco Munoz. Should have been given more time? Possibly. But can you learn on the job in the Premier League? Probably not. So who would have known? It's impossible to tell. But one thing I can say is, whether we've been under Shisko, under Hodgson or Ranieri this season, performances, just not good enough. Just simply not good enough. And you just knew it. You just knew today we were going to lose. And some teams like Burnley, right? They're going to probably be in the relegation scrap still with Everton and Leeds the last two games of the season. But some teams make up their lack of quality with fight. What do Watford do? Nah, neither. This bunch, honestly, amateurish. Without the fight, without the ability, it's like an acceptance for Watford fans every single time this season that we go into games that will be outfought, will be outwon, will be outbattled by our opponents. And they don't have to have quality in terms of playing the game of the sport or football. But they just have streetwise, know-how, some sense of cohesion and belief. And Watford, complete opposite. So we have to go into games as fans thinking we're going to be out for. That should just be like a prerequisite before matches. It's just embarrassing. And you look at that Burnley game. You know, Burnley, they're awful. I'm not going to lie, they are awful. They showed it today. But we still managed to lose them. Honestly, I just and and then today, you know, just spineless. Honestly, so spineless. And to top it all off, one of the players of the season, and it just shows how bad of a season it's been. The fact that our one of our players of the season is someone that's only been out here since January. Hassan Kamara is sent off when we need to win to stay up. I mean, I say to stay up. <laughs> Just prolonging the inevitable. Zaha won the penalty to promote Palace at Watford's expense. 
back in 2012-2013. Scored the goal that sent Watford to the championship. Created the goal to beat Watford 2-1 in the 93rd minute at Selhurst. And no wonder we hate them. No wonder. And we needed Roy Hodgson to, uh, to help us out. But Palace are just a team that relegate clubs. Five teams now. Hull, 16-17. Stoke, 17-18. Huddersfield, 18-19. Cardiff, 18-19. And now Watford, 21-22. Literally called it on my Twitter. I said, that's the game you're going to go down, isn't it? Hodgson's former side, you just know it. Just terrible. The first time Hodgson has been relegated from the Premier League. And honestly, he's just been so hard to connect to as a fan. He's just been so... I think the word is quite patronising, which is actually just so dispiriting. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know how to react. And he, he was literally, he was smiling at Zaha. Zaha was smiling. He had his hand on his shoulder. This guy is supposed to be our manager. Look at this. He's actually laughing. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen this fate for us for about seven weeks, I think. When was when was the game he got relegated? I mean, probably Norwich away, Norwich at home. But if you just look back at our matches, oh, it could have been any of them, to be honest. The only game I think we've shown fight under Hodgson, probably Southampton away. But then Liverpool spurned big chances. Okay, played quite well, but ultimately still not good enough. Kutzka with a rugby tackle. And, oh, we've got another rugby tackle today. Well done, Hassan Kamara, who has been one of my players of the season. But today, he just... Lack of composure, lack of... I don't know. Hindsight. Hindsight would say you should defend some kind of level of football. But results show that we are not able to do that. And we are relegated to the championship, where I honestly think we can stagnate. And honestly, I, as I was saying earlier with the Premier League and how it's changed and how difficult it's got, and it's just, we are a small, we've always been a small club. And I just don't enjoy being battered every single week and our legacy being torn through the dirt. And I get that, you know, if we'd have stayed up, I'd have been talking differently, but... We've been not even close to staying up this season. And that is down to the players. That is down to the manager. That is down to the hierarchy. And something needs to change. I'm not saying Pozzo out. Because I get what they've done for this football club since 2012. But something's got to change. Something drastic has got to change. And I don't know what that is. But all I do know is we've not been good enough. We've not even been an outfit that you can call a Watford, a Premier League team. Like... That is why we're down, because we have just set ourselves such awful standards and then even managed to fall above those, below those. Like, oh, it, You can't put it into words when something like this happens, when your club gets relegated. It's so dispiriting, but more than that, it's actually ang it's infuriating when a club has a golden ticket. They get promoted with no fans. Shishko, legend, but then throw it all away. I mean, fans coming back, you think, OK, we've actually got fans back. Feel good factor on the opening day. That's where it peaked. I don't know. Honestly, don't know what to say. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more reaction from this 1-0 defeat. But look, just looking at the lineups today, very quickly, I honestly just thought, well, that just sums up our season, doesn't it? Because you look at the lineups today and you've got the, the man you'd probably want there, Joao Pedro, he's out with an injury. I mean, he's there to, to be in the squad and support the club, but it's just so comfortable for Palace. They were so second gear. I just, oh, I don't even know. And can I just say as well, I just need to um, make something clear. Bear with people. Um, we're running a little bit low on battery, so we might have to end it soon. But I think I've said all that needs to be said, really. We're just a diabolical mess. Um, so just bear with a second, people. Um, <sighs> right.
Right. Yeah. This was it. This was it. Palace, and I just want to see a performance. I want to see some young players. Shakai Ford. Um, I want to see Joseph Hungbo. Uh, obviously, next season, I want to see Quadwo Bar given a chance. I just want to see players with pride wearing the shirt. Obviously, None of that. Next season will be a massive reset. Completely scrap the philosophy of the club um, at the minute because it's not working off the pitch because it's translating into bad performances on it and the players just aren't good enough. They're not Premier League quality, so we need a reset, really. Um, and maybe John Eustace has been rumoured as the man to come in. I don't know, but he loves the club. He knows Would he come in important. before the season but ends? anyway, Palace, they are going to win this game. I honestly feel that is the case and we are going to be in the Championship. So, although I'd like to see us not lose, I think Palace are going to get the W, much to my demise and much to my resentment because Palace are just one of those teams Watford do not like. Zaha hard to score, you just know it, a penalty and Watford to lose 1-0 just like they did in the 1920 season to it. I can predict my club and I can predict how terrible we are because it's so predictable. We are so, so obviously terrible. So thanks for watching. Watford are down. Zaha, why? Why you, Wilfred? Honestly, the death of Watford and the death of me will be this football club. But we'll be back. We'll be back sometime in the future. I don't know if it's five seasons. Don't know if it's one. Don't know if it's three. But we will be back in the Premier League at some point. Now, honestly, the fight that's shown in this squad, mid-table championship, easily. Easily. So, as long as Luton don't go up, the championship season more games don't get battered every week but something's got to change